Hello, Chef Marcus Giuliano here, and I'm your chef on a mission. I don't have my remote control, so I had to go around and turn the camera on today. So I talk to a lot of chefs about their so-called sustainable salmon, and uh, a lot of times I'm met with a lot of resistance, like you have no idea what you're talking about, um, why are you harassing me, why are you investigating? I'm doing this so we can have a better food source, so we all can have a better food source. And every chef that I talk to, I can just change one chef, which I did last week, I changed one chef. Change one chef and um, I'll report back on that because I did a video on it. And if he can start serving a better quality salmon, wild salmon versus farm salmon, if he can get rid of farm salmon on his menu, that's gonna make a huge difference, right? One chef at a time. It took me one question back in 1997 when I first got an executive chef job at a country club in Colorado. I was 24 years old and one of the members, I still remember uh, Jane, she came to me, the uh, past president's wife and said, Marcus, would it be possible if you can buy beef here without hormones and antibiotics? And I said to myself, why does beef and, uh, beef and beef have hormone and antibiotics to begin with? I didn't know that, I was 24 years old, I wasn't sure that, because remember, came from, I came from restaurants that were serving really high-end food but didn't care about the farm-to-table aspect. It was about the cream, the butter, the, uh, the, the you know, higher-end beefs that was all loaded with that, so I didn't know about that. And as a young chef, I was like, wow, I was shocked. So one conversation, one question can change a chef's career. And that's what Jane did to me. She changed my career because she got my mind thinking like, what in the world am I serving? Now, when I can talk to a chef and I can hit that point, and I can, I, I can hit that one question, man, I, I know how that felt for me. So I talked to a chef last week, awesome. Now, I just called a steak, one of the, one of the better top-end steakhouses across the country right now, lots of locations. I spoke to a chef who was in a management position, not the executive chef, but a chef who was in the management position there at this restaurant, somebody who's in charge. And here's how the conversation goes. I'm not picking on this person whatsoever, um, and, and I'm not revealing their identity, but this is how, this is, what, this is what people will tell you at restaurants. They will tell you, it doesn't matter what their menu says about farm sustainable salmon, um, uh, Serving salmon, no matter farm salmon, no matter if it's an inland containment system or or a which I don't talk about much or the open net pens, there's still there's still a massive food gap of the amount of protein you need to grow the fish, and there's still issues with the food pellets and this and that. If you do eat farm salmon, if you were forced to eat farm salmon, if I was forced to eat farm salmon, I would say, well, I want the inland containment system versus the open pen system. Uh, so there are differences, and I'll talk about that in another video because somebody mentioned a comment on that the other day on my video. Like Marcus, you mentioned most salmon farms. What does that mean, most? Because um, what I'm referring to when disease spreads out into the wild and stuff like that, we're talking about open pen, where it's out in the ocean, raised in the wild. Wild, as the Faroe Islands like to say. Um, you go on these websites and this is pristine farms out in British Columbia and wherever, and they're out in the wild, they're doing their things, the farms rotating, the farms switch, you know, all the, that's all BS, folks, that's all BS. It's, it's all, it's all so, so it tricks chefs into serving this. So I had a conversation with a chef manager at this restaurant, and I'm gonna play the conversation here. And again, I'm not picking on her. Uh, she took the time to listen to me, and I respect that, and uh, hopefully, the wheels started turning. Hopefully something happened in this conversation with her. She might not be the executive chef here at this restaurant, but hopefully she'll do enough research with the tools that I've given her. And now that her next place that she's at, or if she moves up the ladder in this place, she can actually make a difference. Hopefully, that's the goal here, is to make differences. We all, we're all entitled to clean food, we're all entitled to our truth and menu, we're all entitled to, 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 to chefs, really, because chefs are the worst detriment to, to, to the environment. Restaurant industry is terrible to the environment. And putting salmon in open pen farms out in the ocean is the worst way to raise salmon. So let's roll into this conversation. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I wanted to um, see if you served wild salmon on your menu. 
we do not have wild salmon, but we do have wild um, farm, farm fresh salmon. Yep. Farm fresh. Okay. So I see on your menu here that it says you're committed to sustainability of seafood for future generations. Is there anything special about this, the farm salmon that makes it sustainable, that would make it sustainable? Um, I'd have to ask the chef. Hold yeah. on just a moment. That'd be great. Thank you for holding this, chef. Hi, how are you? Hello? I'm doing well. How are you, sir? Good, very good. So I was on your men I was on your menu, and I saw the your sustainability blur on seafood was committed to sustainability of our seafood for future generations and then i saw that you had yeah. atlantic sam farm salmon so i was just wondering what the sustainability um relationship was with the farmed salmon and your your sustainability statement versus well you like well, wild caught salmon in a sense no just versus because farmed salmon isn't really sustainable I completely agree with you. In this end, so it's the farm is mocked in the ocean in a sense. I'm sorry, what is it? If that makes sense. It's... So there's a farm in the ocean. It's not like they're in holding tanks. So that's what makes it sustainable, the salmon? Yes. They're in the ocean. Comparative to like having it be like aquaculture where they have it in holding tanks and there's much like water wastage where they have to daily take out thousands of gallons of water to replenish those tanks. This is more of a sense where it's their natural ecosystem. It's not disrupting a lot of things and people can still enjoy their favorite fish. It's like uh, the mean between the two, you know? Ah, uh, okay. So it's not an inland containment system. It's an open pen. No. It's an open pen net feedlot in the ocean. Perfect for like pen, yes. Ah, okay. So what would be better, that or wild salmon? You know, we get both in um, for specials and stuff. Us, and our purveyor is able to supply that. To us. Okay. That question, I don't really, I can't, I don't really know the full extent of an answer for you, but. As which one is better versus the other. Okay, because I saw that the New York restaurant, I'm not sure how many other, do you, do you know where the salmon comes from? What what where, what part of the world? So, I, someone just asked me this last month, and I looked up their migrating um, cycle of the salmon, and I can look it up for you now. Okay, and this is your farm salmon, right? Yeah. Uh, do you know what country it's better from? Better than there? I could. Because I don't have that resource. I'm sorry, sir. No, no, um, do, do, do you know what country the salmon's from? Is it from Norway, Scotland, British No, it's, I, def I think it's... Honestly, last month they were off the Gulf of Mexico migrating. And I'm not sure exactly where they are currently, but it's not Norway or anywhere near that. So, just, yeah, so salmon so. farms are... So salmon doesn't come from the Gulf of Mexico. So that's not, it's a cold water fish. So it'd have to be Maine or North. That's what someone told me. I'm sorry. Really? Okay. You're challenging me today, sir. I'm that's sorry. Okay. I'm trying to give you the best answers I can. Because <laughs> I ask the same questions, you know. I yeah. want to know where our food coming from. And I asked my executive chef, and he said, the Gulf of Mexico to me last month. Really? Yeah, no, so. salmon doesn't come from Mexico. It comes from Cali <laughs> Northern California up to Alaska, Maine up through British uh, through through Canada, uh, mm -hmm. England, uh, Scotland, Faroe Islands, Norway. It's a northern northernmost hemisphere part. Colder, of, colder water. Yeah, colder water. So yeah, so there's nothing. Pa yeah, it's <laughs> comes comes through the Saint Lawrence. It comes through the Saint Good Lawrence. Good grief! What's that? The good grief. Yeah. Nothing from Mexico. <laughs> Gulf of Mexico. It goes through the St. Well, Lawrence like, waterways. I'll have to ring around and be like, hey, are you sure about that, chef? <laughs> that was the executive chef who told you? Yes. Wow. Told me to throw him under the bus. Yeah, throw him under but... the bus on that. No. Totally throw him under the bus. 
All right. So do you have, do you have a couple of moments? Are you, do you have sure. to go? Okay. So let me just tell you, a couple, <laughs> let me just tell you a couple of things about salmon, about farmed salmon specifically. We'll talk about farm salmon. So an, an inland containment system is the best way to farm salmon where the water is inland and the water is recycled and filtered out and used again to, to, to grow the salmon. Because what happens with salmon when they start farming them in pens and feedlots, there's a massive amount of disease, sea lice, and all kinds of nasty feces and rotten food and bacteria that actually spreads out into the ocean and into the bays and actually kills other species of fish, including the wild salmon, because the wild salmon cannot stand the Piscine Rio virus, the sea lice, and all the other toxins and diseases that come out of the salmon farms. So anything that's farmed in the ocean is far worse than anything. It's the worst thing you could ever possibly do. It costs a million dollars to build a farm in the ocean. It costs seven million to build an inland farm. Nobody's doing inland. If there's a small handful of, of farms out there that are doing inland containment systems. The nice thing about inland containment Sir, systems. Are you are you through part of a business? Is a business pitch? No, I'm not sorry. a pitch. It's not, not a business. Off, but... It's not a business pitch whatsoever, at all. I'm just taking a couple moments to educate you, so you oh, actually okay. know the answer next time you're asked this. Okay, so the Thank in, you. inland containment system is the single best way. It's seven times the price to build it, but everything is filtered out. So if any disease or sea lice goes into the salmon farms, it's actually filtered out and the water's reused, the feces is filtered out. The open pens, which everybody does because it's the cheapest way to do it, is mm -hmm. it's a massive disaster across the globe wherever they farm them. The locals want them out. In British Columbia, they're getting evicted by the First Nations. Um, in Washington state, the governor just signed a bill to get rid of all non-native fish farms, fin fish farms, like, um, it, they're disaster all over in Scotland alone, one out of every five fish die because the, 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 the they're, they're loaded with disease. So no matter, now I know what your chef's going to say, if you tell him any of this, he's going to say, well, our, our farm salmon is different and it's you know, certified sustainable. There is no right way to do the wrong thing, and I would, what I what I ask chefs is, let's test your salmon. We'll get it tested in a lab, and provide the feed samples of the feed ingredients of what they're actually feeding the fish. It is a disaster. You can go online if you do a half an hour of research, you will never eat farm salmon again, nor will you ever oh want to God. serve farm salmon again. It'll scare you beyond belief. It is the one of the most toxic foods ever. And these companies keep pushing it down our throats. So when I see restaurants that claim they're serving sustainably farmed salmon, it drives me crazy. So I just want to like take a few minutes and try to educate somebody in the management position. And hopefully they'll either reword it on their menu or they'll stop serving it altogether. Okay. So definitely open my eyes. Yeah. Sir, can I get your contact information? Absolutely. Feel mine? Absolutely. I'd be happy to uh, to give you contact information. And if your chef Thank has you. any questions, if anybody has any questions, they can actually call me back. Uh, okay, eight, I'm actually going to take your number as well. 845. What's your name? 845. Yep, 845-243. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And if you want to look at any websites, okay. if you want to look at any websites, there's a great website that Don Sanford, the activist out of Scotland has, which is called salmon farm salmon farming kills.com salmon farming kills.com there's also another activist a marine biologist out of british columbia alexandra morton.ca alexandra morton.ca she's been in british columbia <laughs> since the mid 80s and she tried to stop the salmon farms from coming in and she she went there to study the orca whales and now 30, 40 years later, 70% of orca whales can no longer carry a full-term pregnancy because the wild salmon have disappeared because the salmon farms were put in the migratory path of the salmon and the sea lice and everything, the, the piscine virus spreads into the fish. Piscine, most, most farm salmon you buy have heart disease. The piscine rio virus is a heart disease. And when it gets into the wild fish, 
the fish don't have the, a strong enough heart to swim stream and spawn. So they're creating disasters all across the globe. So you look up her work or Don Santa for his work, salmonfarmingkills.com. And trust me, you will never, ever want to eat farm salmon again. Well, thank you so much for your call. And I'm going to do some research. And I'm going to give your contact information to my chef and to our corporate office as well. And hopefully they'll reach out to you. Do I do a lot of work oh, okay. educating chefs. I've been doing this for... 20 years, 25 years sustainable, actually 20 years sustainable seafood. I've been involved in sustainable seafood. So, so. Well, sus- I commend you, Mark. That's something that most more people need to be knowledgeable so, about. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me. And, uh, and uh, it just takes one conversation to change a chef sometimes. Okay. So I was I'm a firm believer in that one, for sure. All right, Mark. Hope you have a good day. Thank right. you so much. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye.